just to sit beside me and make, even if I only made like something like five bucks an hour for 300 hours, um, I'd have enough money ahead that I could, you know, okay, I'm going to take three months or whatever uh, to um, be like a 10 week program, so 30 hours a week minimum. If you get more than that, great. Uh, to get your 300 hours, right? So then, you know, you're no longer on probation. And just pay the guy to sit there, you know what I mean? So you save up three, four months of, of uh, expenses to live off of. But the thing is, is your truck's making money rather than renting the, uh, the, the, the student, the, 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 the trucking school truck to get your, you know, you're just right at making money, <laughs> you know? And the days you can't work, as long as the truck's capable, you have your driver, I know it's uh, hard to get reliable drivers because my, my uncle did that. He uh, hauled um, basically uh, he had uh, he had the, the five ton, and then sometimes he'd take the big you know the big rigs out. Um, but most of the time it was just the five ton because we were hauling like uh, you know like uh, campers, you know like thirty foot, forty foot, whatever from Quebec City to Indiana. And um, where in Indiana, I don't know, but you know, that, that's a couple of days haul. So uh, my uncle did it, my aunt did it a couple of times. Uh, she, had, when she had to go through the mountains uh, in Pennsylvania or whatever. She was like, uh, no thanks. <laughs> Coming down those big hills, you see all the trucks in the, you know, off the side of the cliff, you know, and the, and the people losing their brakes. And she's like, no, no, I can't do that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Holland, Indiana, uh, Indiana, Indiana. So I, I, I think it's like two-day haul anyway, two, two, three-day haul, and then you you bring stuff back.